Hey, what's up? This is Ben with Wog Prep. Today, we're gonna talk about butterfly pull-ups. So I'm gonna break down the step-by-step -step progression that will pull your body through the perfect butterfly pull-up. So if you've been struggling with butterfly pull-ups, stick around. If you are looking to take every single one of your movements and get them to the RX level, make sure you go to wadprep.com. I have a lot of free training content that I send only to my email list. And if you want to elevate your game, just head over there, enter your name and email address, and I have a lot of good free training content for you. Really quick, before we get started, please, please, please do not bother with butterfly pull-ups until you have mastered kipping pull-ups. Don't bother with kipping pull-ups until you've mastered strict pull-ups. So make sure three to four strict pull-ups before you worry about kipping, and then at least 15 kipping pull-ups in a row before you worry about butterfly. Let's talk about the butterfly pull-up. It's the most efficient and quickest way to accumulate pull-ups uh, in a, a functional fitness or competitive fitness workout. They're not a replacement for strict pull-ups. They're not even a replacement for normal kipping pull-ups. It's totally a different movement. But if you can get efficient at these, you will do much better in the open or any workout that calls for a high volume of pull-up. The first step is you need to reach up, grab the bar, and establish a grip that's just outside of your shoulders. You can play around with how wide or how narrow, uh, but I tend to like just outside the shoulders, and I always wrap my thumbs over my index and middle finger, okay? That's called the gymnastics hook grip. If you do this, this suicide grip or, or thumb over the bar, that's fine, but you are risking potentially flying off the bar uh, and getting hurt when you're grip fatigued. So I really recommend wrapping your thumb around the bar. Okay, next, we have the grip. Now it's time to establish our hollow and arch position. So as soon as we get to the bar, I'm going to jump up and I'm always in a nice hollow body position. So toes in front, core nice and engaged. And then as soon as I have that, I extend into my arch position. And this is where uh, the magic starts. So from the arch position, then I think about scooping. So I'm imagining my, my toes or my feet are scooping under as I pull myself up. So I'm scooping long and under with my feet. I'm pulling the bar down as my shoulders elevate. So hopefully this, this slow motion video is doing a good job demonstrating it, but I scoop my feet under all while I'm pulling my shoulders up and away from the bar. This is the initiation of the butterfly pull up. So as I scoop and my legs start to lift, it's gonna help lift my shoulders up and away from the bar. Once I reach that apex, I then pull myself through uh, the bar. So I don't actually pull myself into the bar like you would in a normal kipping pull-up. I'm pulling myself through and underneath the bar. You really don't go too far under. It's more of you're pulling yourself directly beneath the bar, but I like to imagine pulling through, okay? So again, I've elevated, I've scooped, I reached my apex. You'll notice that the apex, basically where my chin is at its highest, is away from the bar. It's not directly on the bar, okay? So, so as you get your chin high, then you pull yourself through. As soon as you pull yourself through, you pull your feet back and reestablish that arch position. So basically, I'm going from hollow and shoulders up to pulling through an extended arched position. You'll see, you'll see in the video how I switch from that hollow and then I pull through and go extended or, or, or arch, depending on, on what terminology you use. And then as soon as you pull yourself through, you've established that solid arch position, you're lowering yourself down underneath the bar, and then it's time to scoop your feet again and reestablish your next rep. So I know it seems complicated. It involves tons of coordination and lots of shoulder strength, but I assure you that if you, if you implement these steps, you will slowly but surely start to develop the butterfly pull-up once you understand each little part. So if you like this video, make sure you go to wadprep.com and I'm gonna send you some more pull-up training content specifically about developing the butterfly pull-up and I'm gonna make sure to help you RX all of your movements. Also, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to the Wad Prep YouTube channel. I have lots more videos on the way. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. Leave a comment and let me know what you thought and I will talk to you next week.